Enter our goddess. Hey, pal, aren't you going to get that? Why? I know what it's about. <sighs> Hello. Yes. Yes? Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I, I really couldn't say. Yes, I will tell Ms. Kane. The divorce debacle? Not debacle. Coop. As in braiding scoop. These email printouts, <laughs> thousands. Keep this up. The post office will issue a stamp in your honor. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson. Well, he'll be thrilled. Fan mail. I'll give it to him. <laughs> it's really sweet. Jackson. 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 You didn't see me open this. There. Ah, oh, Ginger in her bikini. She's proposing marriage. Hope they honeymoon someplace warm. Oh, shut up, Pam. Some women are such... Ethan gave her. Wants you. Well, unless it was George Clooney, let's talk about it over Larry long. Longin. Larry, Larry Longin? I was just on with Nick Johnson, Larry's EP. Really? Larry wants to tape today, right away, here. Ah, oh, but Larry in his roundtable discussion, he usually has presidents and CEOs and heads of state and... And today, Erica King. Ah, oh, well, you know, the last time I ran into him at that press dinner, he said he was going to bag me sooner or later. <laughs> I didn't know what he meant. So what does he want to talk about? Divorce Erica Steyer. What else? So not my rise to the top, not my fabulous career, not my influence on women around the globe, my life up and down, none of that. No, no. He wants to talk about my new divorce. The new divorce was a brilliant segment. It brought in the highest number since the show premiered. I know, I know. Page six has been yours since the show aired. We've got squibs and everything from the Wall Street Herald to the Exposure. You've been on every entertainment show, every news program that covers entertainment news. No wonder Larry's begging you to be on his show. Did he beg? His EP did. Same thing. Mm, true. But I won't defend myself against Jack's crazed groupies. I mean, why did he do that? Why did Jackson tell everybody on national television that we are still in love with each other? <sighs> Jack's the one who got me into this mess. Jack got you in. But Larry is giving you the chance to climb out smelling like a rose. While Jack can swim in it alone until he thinks. This would be my chance to set the divorce record straight once and for all. There she is, my best gal pal. Oh, I just had to come by and share the happiest event of the century. Oh, well, I'm so happy oh, to see you, but I'm really busy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have just been leaking ever since I heard the news. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's such a relief. I'm so happy for you. Your granddaughter is home oh, safe and sound. Oh, yeah, sure, Jenny. Yeah, well, the whole time that innocent baby was in the clutches of that homicidal whack job, I mean, I was petrified. Petrified. But now, I mean... Are you and me just two of the luckiest ducks in the whole wide world, or what? You heard about Larry? D Jack! Jack, the best man you ever married when you redeclared your undying passion. Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't know such thing. <laughs> Honey, come on, I saw the show. <laughs> you saw Jack manipulating the show. He said the two of you were still in love. Well, he did that because he just wanted to stir the pot. Oh, he wanted to embarrass me. No, you. no. Oh, well, I will never forgive him for this. Never. I mean, here I was. I was talking about a very serious topic, divorce. That you can be civilized, that you, you can have mutual respect. And what does Jack do? Jack tries to sabotage the whole thing. And why? For revenge. Honey, the man just stopped you from getting away. Because you want to lose everything you have. Opal, I know you worship Jack. The biggest mistake people, especially male people, make about you, they see perfection in pumps, and that's it. They're hoodoo. They fall to your feet and stay there. Now, Jackson, 
No way, Jose. He had your number since that first night on the pool table. You know about the pool table? Of course I know about the pool table. And now instead you want some mealy-mouthed hubby's gonna yes you and nod all the time? No, I don't. It's Jackson who doesn't want a real equal as a wife. Jack wants some little wifey who will prepare his meals and, and fetch his newspaper you and his pipe and his You fell for Jackson because he is 100% red-blooded American male. What, now you think you're in the market for some guy you can tap dance on in your stilettos? He won't even have the gumption to say, ouch? Bull Tweety. You might feel a little, you know, too proud to admit that you were wrong for knee-knocking with Jeff Martin. Oh, it's but not knee-knocking with Jeff you Martin. You can't stop loving Jackson, and you haven't. I mean, why else would you be looking so smoldering hot, ready to grab your man and hold on to him? I am looking sick of people trying to sabotage my decisions and my... Shh, stop it. Just say nice of you to stop oh, by. Can't I stay? No, of course not. I know how busy you oh, are. But I'm, I'm gonna really call. Busy. I'm gonna call. Larry. It's just so nice of you to take an interest in my story. You mean our story, don't you, sweetheart? Really? Larry, the attention has been overwhelming. <laughs> Erica, I know you. America knows you. A ratings grabber like this new divorce angle level with us. Wasn't every on-air breath planned? No, it was not. This was not some kind of sensational stunt. No, I, I really wanted to share my life, share my situation, and, and help others. Mr. Montgomery, were your motives so noble? We're well, no one goes into marriage with divorce in mind. I mean, I really dreamed of, of forever with Jack. But things happen, people move on, they change, and, 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 and sad as it is, just because of that, it doesn't mean it has to be the end. No. No, it certainly doesn't. Even when, when you have irreconcilable differences, as Jack and I most certainly do, it doesn't have to be the end. I mean, you can share a mutual respect. You can have a, a more platonic love at a distance. And uh, I really think that our, our divorce should serve as an example to others. Absolutely, just as soon as it's final. It's still not final? Oh, well, for all intents and purposes. I mean, it's moving right along, but it's, it's still not legal. Oh, well, not legal yet. I mean, it's just a matter of minutes. Oh, well. How many? Oh, well, days, uh, weeks at the outside. No, actually, I, I, I think it might be longer than that. Tell you what, if neither of us changes our minds, we'll let you know just the minute we actually get divorced. How's that? You could reconcile. No, absolutely not. No. no. But I think it's fair to say we're just going to have to wait and see. Our minds are made up. It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind. Especially a woman in love. Jack's admitted you're both still in love. Well, Jack was speaking solely for Jack, not for me. Are you going to claim you don't still get the least bit worked up when he's so close to you? Surely there's some love left. Oh, I get worked up, all right. But it has nothing to do with love, believe me. All your protests aside, the fact is, there's a chance this divorce Erica style might never actually happen. True? Official exes by now, we would be. Every passing moment strengthens my resolve. Sounds less and less amicable. Oh, well, no, that doesn't mean that I can't admire Jack. Oh, right back at you, honey, thank you. I will always be fond of Jack. And I will love you until the day I die. Well, love is not enough to sustain a marriage, though. I mean, the truth is that most people probably never even should have gotten married. They just should have stayed friends. Friends with Bennies? <laughs> that's good. We've reached the end of our interview. Oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, how disappointing. I thought our talk might add an exclamation point to the divorce issue. Instead, I see a question mark. I you agree. Do. Tell you what. On D-Day, when you've made that transition from married to divorced. If it happens, let's do part two of this interview. 
Oh, Larry, I, I really don't see how, how we, we could say no to a thing like that. I mean, that'd be great. But so much fun, right? Oh, for me to say I told you so in front of millions of viewers. I'll take that risk. You heard them. Will it be divorce Erica style? Or will love ruin her plans? Join me as we count down to D-Day. Stay up on the latest developments on our Divorce Watch. Till next time, good night.